Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having. It's always amazing to me what happens when you go into a new city. You start to do your own thing, you start to express your own desires, you start to communicate what you're about, and then there's some motherfucking white man who wants to take something from you. You see, he hasn't produced enough in his life, apparently, that he has a jealousy in himself that, oh, I should do that too, or I should take over that idea and go off and do it. And I've met pl plenty of men who want to play one-upsmanship all day long. And because I'm a person of faith, I don't believe in that shit. I grew up, outgrew that shit when I was 12 and 13 years old. I learned about that a long time ago. My mother was pretty righteous about what she taught us about men, what she taught us about girls, and she really told us what men can be like. She talked about people in an appropriate way. Even though sometimes she might have been harsh, sometimes she might have been a bitch, she was actually pretty accurate about most of the girls that I knew in my life. And most of the fellows, too. But I can't say that I was a big social butterfly in my junior high and high school days because I was just so fucking tired of all the shit, all the stupid shit I had to deal with. And since I moved to the city, it's almost like being in junior high again. I just was approached by somebody who started heckling me from the side and I couldn't even tell who it was. First of all, I wasn't paying attention. Second of all, I'm on my own way, taking my own path, going to my own situation. And all of a sudden there's all this heckling going on and I start to realize, and God says, why don't you turn around? And so I'm like, okay. So I turn around and it's a guy that I supposedly know, but he's like coming all over me, bitching all over me about something of pulling my staff and all this stuff like I'm pulling at him. And I'm like going, I didn't even see who the fuck you were. I'm looking into the sun. I got light blue eyes. I can't see as well at this age. And what the fuck are you talking about? I apologize for the language to the ladies in the audience, but the reality is men get tired of this shit. I'm living my life. I'm not paying attention to him, but every fucking few minutes, this guy is walking past me, fucking with my computers, and he's probably the little shitbag who's been cutting my beard in the night because he wants to play like he's in charge. Then he kept going on calling me bitch and all this stuff because he's probably listened to my audio cast. He's probably the shitbag who's been ruining my computers or he stole things from me at Christmas, and who the fuck knows? But I don't need him as a pal, and he's always promising shit. He's always saying, oh, I can bring this for me for my storage. And, okay, great, do that. And then the next, the same day, he never shows up again. He never has the shit he promises. And he's always got this promise, I'm sorry, I was gone. Well, fuck you, don't offer it. You're walking around town with my materials, trying to sell yourself as me. You're trying to play the nanny nanny boo boo game in front of me. Give me a fucking break. I am not fucking dumb. I have a, I have a, a graduate degree, practically. And you've got what for you? A high school degree? No offense to people who don't go on to further in school, but I'm incredibly well read. I'm incredibly well experienced. I'm incredibly well observed in movies and whatnot that give us all the information we need about shitbag people like you. And if you didn't play that way and if you spent your whole life in drugs and whatnot, I don't give a fuck about you. No offense, but I'll be polite. I'll be kind. I'll help you when I can. But don't pretend like you're equal to me. Do not fucking pretend like you've done the same things for me that I've done for you. And I don't mean to be rude about this. But any time I had food, I gave it to you. And what did you do? You threw it in the fucking front yard of a, of a place that I stayed. If you didn't want the food, don't fucking receive it. Just say no thank you. You've said plenty of no thank you to me, and that's fine. The few times you did help me and came through for me, it was like a week or two later. Congratulations. But in the real world, when we're trying to help someone, we do it immediately. We don't do it tomorrow. We don't do it next week. We don't do it in four weeks' time. We do it now. If we say we're going to do something, we do something. That's the difference between a man and a boy. I also get a little tired about these little fucks on campus who want to play by in their big macho shit like they're so much superior to me. Like, no, you're not. You're homeless if your parents don't pay for your fucking rent. Give me a fucking break. You might get played all the time with the girls. Good congratulations. But have you ever had a wife? Have you ever had to provide for responsibility for that or a child? I don't fucking think so. So don't tell me you're a man to me. You're just not a man. You're still a young man. You're doing what you're supposed to do at young men. But don't fucking compare your life to mine. You can't possibly fucking know what I've been through in my life. You can't possibly know how many times I've avoided murder, how many times I've avoided being suffocated, how many times I've avoided being somebody fucking playing with me at night. Don't you fucking play like you know my life. Don't you fucking play like you know what the Muslims did to me in a place I didn't want to be. Don't you fucking play like you know what's happened to my fingertips or what's happened to my loins or what's happened to my pubic hair or any of the shit that these police officers have been playing at here. Don't you fucking pretend like you know me.